Well, guys, good evening and welcome back to another late night show here from the off grid garage in sunny, hot Australia, mid of autumn, and we had 31 degrees today. Bit of cloud, mixed weather, not so good for solar technology, but the battery is over 70%, so I'm happy with that. Well, in one of the last videos, I showed you the swelling of a battery here in my battery shelf, which are totally uncompressed. And, and I have read through all these 650 uh, comments. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. But I had to stop replying after a while because I started repeating myself. So many people got this wrong. And I thought I'll do this follow up video here and explain actually in all details what is going on with the compression and these cells. So I want to talk a bit about the compression of cells or better to say fixture of these cells here and why you should do it and why it won't matter. Uh, that makes sense, right? Well, a few weeks ago, uh, Dominic from the German YouTube channel Zero Brain had someone very interesting on his show. He had a guest with the name of Marcus, which is a battery expert and works scientifically with lithium batteries in the field of electrode material. And Marcus explained very detailed what happens during the manufacturing process of these lithium iron phosphate batteries here and why the manufacturer actually recommends a 300 kilogram force pressure on these cells. And because the video was very long and they talked about a lot of other topics as well in regards to lithium batteries like uh, charging and temperature and safety and storage and mounting position of these cells. I wanted to focus a bit more on the part of compressing these cells and why it matters and also why it doesn't matter. So you want to compress your cells for two reasons. Well, actually, it's only one reason. The first reason you want to compress your cells, or at least this is what people think is a reason, is to prevent swelling and delamination of the cell, which is total bollocks. So in the battery, lithium ions move from the cathode to the anode, and the anode consists of carbon material, layers of carbon material. In fact, many, many, many layers of carbon material. So the lithium ions, they actually move in between the carbon layers. So when these lithium ions are getting an electron from our electrical circuit applied to the battery, they are becoming a lithium atom and increase in size by just a few picometers. That is uh, uh, that much. And therefore pushing the carbon material apart. As a result, our anode will expand. Interestingly, he also explained that this expansion can neither be stopped nor prevented in any form, no matter how much force you would apply to this cell. He said no hydraulic press on this planet could prevent this because the expansion is happening on an atomic level. It, uh, it just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you compress or not, it will swell and contract during normal operation. So in fact, compressing the cells is not there to prevent any swelling of the cells. As we have just learned, it cannot be prevented at all. No way. And I wrote this a hundred times in the comment section when people said they have compressed their cells to prevent any swelling or expansion. And I have yet to see a video on YouTube where someone takes his compressed battery apart after a year or two and does a belly test. You know, with a ruler on top of the cells and see how much bulging, how much swelling, how pregnant these cells actually are. Well, what I have seen so far on YouTube, when people took their batteries apart, the swelling on their cells was exactly the same as on my one. Even their battery was compressed for the entire time. This is something the battery has to deal with. This is a normal process inside the battery. It swells and contracts while charging and discharging. And the, the, um, the second reason you should, well, the first one wasn't actually a reason, right? So the second reason you should compress your cells or not. In the first couple of cycles, tiny gas bubbles arise from the porous material inside the cell. 
The manufacturing process of these cells is being undertaken in a vacuum chamber, trying to extract as much gas as possible from this material inside the cells. And when all the gas is sucked out of the cell, the electrolyte is being filled in, and then the battery is sealed with a safety valve at the top. Yeah, this little guy. So under ideal conditions, our electrolyte would absorb into this porous material inside the cell. Completely. But unfortunately no vacuum on this planet here is perfect. And therefore in the first couple of cycles, first couple of cycles, remember that, tiny gas bubbles will still arise from this porous material inside the cell. And then these gas bubbles can interfere with the transport of charge while using the battery and can even stop the transport of charge in these areas. And the result can be a premature aging of your battery. But if you apply pressure to the cell, all these gas bubbles, they're getting squeezed out from in between the material inside the cell. And this movement comes from the natural contraction and swelling of the anode material, which we have learned cannot be prevented. So the swelling and contraction in combination with the outside force, with the outside compression of the cell, actually helps to extract these bubbles. And therefore the battery will last longer and can deliver more cycles. Hey, and everyone wants more cycles where their battery is, right? And this is exactly what we can see in the diagrams EVE publishes. Without compression, the cell gets only two and a half thousand cycles. With compression, we are getting around 4,000 cycles. Um, a while back, I have made a video about compressing cells and why it does not matter. And this now brings us back to the entry point of the video, or better, to the title of the video, why you should compress your cells and why it doesn't matter. So in this video, which is um, linked below, by the way, I have explained in all details and have also calculated that with solar storage, a compression will not extend the life of your batteries because your battery will degrade from calendar age before you even get close to a point where your cells are benefiting from a compression and an increased cycle life. I've said this many times in my videos. I'm doing 75 cycles a year with my batteries here, 75 a year. Your cells are losing capacity every single day. If you use them or not, it doesn't matter. If you compress them or not, it doesn't matter. They are just aging. But this is all explained and calculated in a video I made in the past. I'll uh, link this down below. And I watched these scenes on Dominic's channel over and over again just to memorize and understand what Marcus was explaining in, in regards to the compression of these cells. I also left a comment with a bit of a verdict for me under his video when it came out a few weeks ago. So for me, compression makes sense if our cells are coming from the manufacturer directly. Because only then we can ensure the manufacturer has actually compressed the cells from the beginning when they do their testing in the factory. There could be actually a benefit of buying certified cells directly from the manufacturer. And we have seen the leaked test procedures from EVE, which I will link down below. Um, they can also be found on the do-it-yourself solar forum. They actually compress the cells during testing. And this helps to squeeze out these air bubbles inside this porous material in the cell. Very interesting to read through it and understand the testing they are doing with these cells. Another reason why compression makes sense is if the first few cycles need to be under compression to squeeze out these bubbles in between the material. Um, I actually don't know what a few first cycles mean. Is this uh, 10 cycles or is this 100? Well, anyway, after that, a compression is not necessary anymore. This is really only to squeeze out the bubbles and for nothing else. It is not to prevent swelling. So when does compression make no sense? Well, it is the opposite from what I just said. If we buy these batteries from resellers on Ali, 
I mean, have you seen any of these resellers showing a compressed cell when they're testing? They usually have all these cells sitting on long shelves connected to cables and testers and just cycle them without any compression. And if this already causes damage in the battery, well, any further compression from you, from the user later on, would not make any sense at all. Because the damage is already done. Der Drops is gelutscht, as we say in German. These, these bubbles can only be eliminated in the first couple of cycles, as Markus explained. Later on, it's not possible anymore. So in my case, it would not make a difference if I compress these cells now, because they are already damaged from not compressing them from the beginning. And no, even if I would compress them right now, I won't damage them, as some of you have speculated. So I could still do it, but it would have no effect on the lifetime of these batteries. Guys, that's it. I thought I passed this very, very interesting information on to you. The mystery of compression and why it doesn't matter. As always, guys, I link all the information down below in the video description, all the links to the other videos, as well as the link to Dominic's video. It is in German, but if you haven't seen it, it is worth watching, re-watching. I watched it like... Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all your amazing support here on the channel. All these wonderful and beautiful people out there who are donating, buying me a beer here in sunny, hot Australia. Thank you so very much. And until the next video, guys, when we, um, well, I have a bit of bad news. Uh, I, um, it is, the power supply is a bit sick, but I have some medicine here. So this is something I want to do tomorrow night because I need this power supply so we can do more battery testing here. Until then, guys, you stay charged, stay safe, and thanks for watching. See you then. Bye-bye. And um, even if you compress your cells, I still love you. Mm -hmm.